Hello, everyone. Welcome to your last day of the 14-day job search campaign. How was your day 13 experience? Exploring at least one other career option. In the last 14 days, every day I posted a short video clip covering an aspect of job searching. Then you can download the checklist, do your homework for the day, and join us in the LinkedIn group for discussion and feedback. Although today is the last day of our 14-day job search campaign, I will still monitor, continuously monitor, uh, and encourage you to participate in the LinkedIn group for discussions and also for feedback. I'd also encouraged my industry connections to share job posting there as well. As adults, we learn the best by researching, which means self-studying, and practicing the skills, and socializing, which means learning from others, and also reflecting. Today is 14th day, and uh, this is the end of our second week, so it's a perfect day for reflecting on how you have done in the last seven days in terms of your job search. If you have followed through our plan, in the last seven days, you should have already connected with five people you already know. Remember in day eight, we talked about that networking start with people you already know. And then day nine, we talked about how to widen your networks by asking the people you already know to introduce you to other people in the industry who can either provide referral opportunities or market or industry information. And then in day 10, we discuss how to prepare your elevator pitch. Day 11, we talked about interview skills, processes, and left homework for you to practice at least three questions every day. And day 12, we talked about thinking forward, what will be the most needed hard and soft skills post pandemic. And then just yesterday, day 13, we explored another area or two for you to see if you can apply for different types of jobs. Same as week one reflection. We wanted to see now going forward, what did you do really well so you can continue doing? What you didn't do so well or bad habit or weakness that you want to stop doing? And what will be something new in week three and going forward that you want to start doing and make sense? Although going forward, I won't be posting daily guidance videos, I still encourage you to use this project plan and use the self-reflection thought process to build up your goal setting for the weeks to come. And also decide on the time and effort and resources that you can commit to in order to find your dream job. I still see jobs being posted. I still hear industry leaders talking about attracting and retaining talent. So don't lose hope. We're all in this pandemic situation together. So now you can download the checklist and start working on your week two reflection and building goals for week three. And also elect, I would like to encourage you to check out our 20 online training modules for job seekers, where we share more information about how organizations select and screen candidates and how professionals can level up their career. Or hire us for more of your job search needs. Last but not least, I'd like to share a gift with you. Recently, although we're all at home working from home, I had the privilege of conducting an online interview with Heather Stewart, the president of BBE, a supply chain company in Canada, where Heather shares insight into leadership and career. Do check it out at the same website. All the best, and I wish you to follow us on LinkedIn and Facebook as we build up more resources for job seekers and professionals just like yourself.